Hey guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. Today I have a flip through for you. Okay, welcome back. Welcome new subscribers. I appreciate all of you with and your continued support. Yeah, so I have this flip through for you. This journal is for Bobby over at Paginator, and I will link to her channel down in the description box. Um, a while back in November, we had a pretty rough month. You know, we had the loss of our dog. Um, our two and a half year grandson ended up in Cook's Hospital, and it just was... A messy month and we were ready for November to be over. Well, Bobby had sent me a surprise snail mail of a journal and she did not know about any of this stuff that was going on. Um, just out of the goodness of her heart, she wanted to surprise me with a journal and I do have a flip through of that journal on my channel. Um, and it just didn't seem to me that saying thanks was enough because she was the bright spot in my very dark November. And I'm just so appreciative of her and her friendship and how close we've been getting and, you know, doing our journal swaps and chatting and, you know, all of that good stuff that comes with friendship. So I want to do something special for her. I should say special and unique for her. Um, I get the feeling that Bobby grew up on a ranch of some kind, or she was around horses. Um, they own horses. So I was guessing, since she lives in Wyoming, that it was more likely a ranch setting for her childhood. And I wanted to do something that would be unique for her. And I know she loves horses, and um, I just wanted to play on that a little bit with this journal. So this is what we have. Um, disregard my messy bow. I am just not good at, at tying bows at all. Um, I just kind of tied it and let it lay the way it decided to lay. But I had this really pretty kind of a faux satiny um, ribbon that actually ties very well. Um, so let's just, let's take this off so that I can show you more of this journal. And it's just made to wrap around the journal. So there'll be plenty of ribbon there for her if she uh, wants to do it differently or have a different closure for this. Okay, so here is the inspiration to this journal. This, this picture right here just reminds me of serenity and peace and just a calm and a comfort. And that is why I wanted to use that as um, the topper for this journal. Um, this took some time to get going because first of all, I had a fabric in my mind and I was going for like a faux leather. And when I had went to Joanne, they wanted um, like $50 for a yard of their fabric and I found um, let me turn it this way so you can see this right here, which is kind of like a, reminds me of like a paint or Palomino horse or, you know, something along those lines. Um, I ended up going home to get on my computer and just check out Hobby Lobby and they had a faux leather and I didn't see this print anywhere. Um, they were much cheaper than Joanne had, like a ton cheaper, um, like half the cost. And so I went to Hobby Lobby to go look because I saw this this print at Joanne and that was the one that was $50. And I'm like, I just, I can't, I can't spend $50 on a yard of fabric. And so when we went to Hobby Lobby, I found the faux leather and it was a lot less expensive and then there it was, sitting there, and I'm like, oh my goodness, there it is. That is the fabric I wanted, and I was able to get it for this journal. Okay, so at the top, we've got lots of poop sticking out here, and ribbons, and um, 
eyelash trim and all kinds of stuff. And then on the side here, we've also got some ribbons attached and, you know, there's lots of charms attached on here. And I will show you all these uh, more up close when we get to that part in the journal. Please forgive me again, you guys, for any kind of shadows that you see, but my lighting in, in here isn't great. I could probably open up my curtains and we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so there we go. We've got our curtains open now, and so it's a little bit better on the lighting. Okay, so um, I had to wait forever to get my trims. Um, this one came relatively fast, but this brown one here um, took forever to get here, and this one is from an Etsy shop. I will make sure I link to that shop down below, um, but it was the perfect color. It was the one I wanted, so I waited for it. Um... And then here on the spine, I did a, a a burlap cover here just to cover up our uh, signature threads. And I sewed on these adorable heart wooden heart buttons. Um, they're also reinforced with glue, but the buttons are sewn onto the burlap. And then I put a dab of glue on them while I was sewing so they weren't moving around. But I thought those were super cute heart buttons. I'm going to try not to make this video too long, you guys. And besides that, if I my voice is struggling as it is. So I'm going to try and, and go through this as quick as I can. I don't know if I will accomplish that, but we're going to try. So coming along with this stuff... <laughs> with this journal. Let's set this over here for a minute. We got a little, a few little extras here. I made this little uh, envelope out of some of my coffee dyed paper. And then inside here is just a bunch of stuff that was left over from um, putting this journal together. And rather than it be sitting around here, I thought maybe Bobby could find a place for those. This right here is a tiny little paper bag journal at the moment I don't remember who I got that from um, we got a couple of postcards right here little tiny postcards I put it in a bunch of coffee dyed papers put a little sticker on there a little envelope with some stamps in there and just all kinds of places to write and then in the back pocket we got more stickers, we got more journal cards in there. I just thought it was a really cute um, addition to this whole package. I would rather this been a brown, but I didn't have a brown. I only had this in black, but I think it is super cute either way. And it adds a little bit to this little journal. And then I just attached this little tag and a little button right there. I thought that was really cute. And then this is an envelope folio that I did. I do have a um, uh, tutorial on making these. Not this particular one, but on making um, one of the three envelope tutorials. Um, the one that is the tutorial, I did not use the ribbon closure. I used uh, the Velcro dots. So this just opens up. And so we've got um, an envelope here. And this right here is a letter to Bobby from me. And then there's an envelope here. And... There is one right here. And so we've got something in each one of these. Let's see if I can get these out of here without killing it. So right here is just a, um, it's actually a page and it's from Digital Collage and I just shrunk it down and made it a journal card. It's got some lines right here that she can write on or a list of something, whatever she wants. And then over in this one is pretty much the same thing. 
It's just a page that is shrunk down. It's probably the opposite side of that. And I shrunk it down so they could fit in these pockets. And there I just stuffed them full of, of journal cards and just all kinds of stuff. And a bunch of stickers. I don't like to leave stuff like hanging around, especially if it's themed. So if I do it for a particular journal, I like to include as much as I can. So there's the folio. And those three things will go along with the journal. Okay. Let's get to the journal now. This journal is a big girl, I have to tell you. It's a nine by six. And then we have a three inch spine and it is still gaping. Like I got down to business with this one, you guys. Okay, so let's go to the inside. So I found this burlap paper and this stuff is amazing, you guys. Um, it's burlap for the texture, it's paper on the other side, and it's amazing to work with. It worked really great for these signatures. I got a couple pieces for the pocket for the front and the back, so I wanted to explain that to you guys first. I tied a little piece of twine into a bow for this pocket right here. I thought that was cute. And here is our cover image because this is the reason or is the the whole theme of this journal. And we got a bunch of um, eyelash trim on here and it can be rode on. And then we've got another one right here with some horses. Both can be rode on. Go in there. Okay, over here I just made a, well, I am just having a hard time today, you guys. I made this little cluster, again, I made a little bow here with some baker's twine, threw in a little bit of red, just to give it a little color, and then underneath that is this journal card, also um, digital collage. Um, I will list all the Etsy shops um, down in the description box. We've got Gypsy Craftery, Charm Studio, and Tookie Designs are the three Etsy shops that um, the kits came from in this, and then Digital Collage. So I'm going to put this back on first because it's hard to go against the um, the burlap going against the burlap because the back of that has burlap on it. Okay, now we'll get this back underneath there. I'm struggling today, you guys. Okay, so here we put a burlap pocket. This was just ribbon, though. Um, I have a burlap ribbon. And then this trim right here, I got specifically for this journal because I loved it because it looks like it is stitched if you can see like the stitches in that and so I wanted that for the journal and then right here we have this pretty good size um, journal card right here and um, this is from I believe this one is Gypsy Craftery Kit I'm not going to remember all of them, you guys, so just I'll do my best. Okay, here we've got another journal card. Here's one just from scrapbook paper. We got our, a tab right here, and we've got a horse as the charm. Um, right here, we've got another cluster that I put together with some more of the burlap and it says stay wild 
and that's to hold this in place because it is a pull down writing space both sides and then I made these cute little butterflies with with some embroidery floss and I just liked that bluish gray color with that okay let me put this back on and then on this side we have another one from the kit which like I said before, was Gypsy Craftery. Some writing space there. A belly band right here with another one from Digital Collage. This says, Keep Horses Keep Me Stable. Um, here's one of our little ribbons attached to the paper clip. Um, we also have another uh, cluster bit there. And then that holds on this cute little horse um, journal card. And we got some more eyelash trim on this one. Another belly band here with another journal card. And then down here at the bottom it says hit the trail. There's our cover image. has to have a page in here. Here's a private mailing card, it says. <laughs> Tuck spot over here, and another really big journal card. And then right here in the center of the signature, we've got two places that flip open. And big pockets, I don't usually put stuff in here, but I decided to on this one. And this one just opens up, and there's a couple more uh, journal cards inside of it. It says, no hour of life is wasted that is spent in the saddle. And then over here in this one, we have a really pretty piece of stationery for Bobby to write on. And then on the front of each of these flaps is a couple more pockets with a couple more journal cards. And then we got a tag over here. It says, Courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. And I went ahead and attached one of the uh, little journal cards from the kit. Over here, we've got right name for things, which is all the parts of a horse. Which I'm like, well, Bobby probably knows all those parts of a horse. And over here, we've got another um, journal card. Writing. This is a pocket that's got two separate places for journal cards. Both can be wrote on. Uh, here's one of the paper crafts I like to do, and it's just full of tags and journal cards and all that good stuff. And then back behind it is another pocket. Oh, we pulled off a little bit of eyelash drum. And then in here is just a picture of horses. Um, this over here is an over-the-page um, journal card. So right here, this opens up. We got some eyelash trim on it. Let's put this back on. And 
and then right here is just a piece of uh, station or a piece of scrapbook paper that can be wrote on. It was just a scrap that I had. Over here we've got a rodeo. And I know Bobby likes the rodeo too because she's recorded before with the rodeo going. So we got a couple of um, journal cards in here. And they're two separate pockets. So it's glued down in the center. Writing. Um, here's another one of the paper crafts I like to do. This one, however, does not come undone. Because sometimes I do it where this pulls down and then there's uh, paper to write on. Um, so here we've got this journal card that I made. And it's got this cute little boot charm connected to it. And then back here is a very big journal card. I didn't really decorate it. This was already on it. It just says good luck on there. And then we got some of this from the shindy rug I used as the topper. Over here is a pocket with our first bookmark of the journal with all these beautiful colors that just match this page perfectly. We got some melons, cream, brown. I think there's like a orangey color in there. Oh, this says, for one to fly, one needs only to take the reins. Then we got a double pocket here, and we just got this journal card and this journal card. Of course, they can be wrote on. And then we got a tag back here with a little horse on it in that pocket. Then over here is just one whole print. It's not a pocket or anything. And it's got I put some lace on it on both sides and just put it on the back of the last uh, burlap paper page. Into the next one, I put some crocheted ribbon on here. We got this really pretty journal card there. We get a bingo card there and then this journal card. Right here was a page uh, from Digital Collage, and I just made it into two pockets. So these pull out for journaling on, and that one's got a charm. And then this one also, same size with another charm. And it doesn't want to go in. <laughs> More writing there. And then here's a pocket with another journal card there. I know I'm going fast, you guys, but this video would be forever. Otherwise, that's a huge journal. Okay, here we got double pocket or double tuck. And so back here in this one, we've got this journal card. It was probably one of my favorite prints besides the cover print. And then in the second pocket, we've got two of these. Both of horses. More writing there. Okay, this also was digital collage. And this was the whole print. I shrunk it down and printed it twice and cut this part out and re-glued it and made it a pocket so it can hold this. These are great for like quotes, scriptures, whatever. So there's that and then it's also a tuck spot for that journal card. Um, right here is a saloon. This is the outside of the saloon and this is at the bar great prints so I decided to reprint and make that part a pocket and then I decided to take above the saloon and made that a pocket so this one opens up and can be wrote on 
and then the other one is just one single journal card. Okay, so right here we got more writing space, and Bobby always talks about the jelly rolls, the pens, and so I got me some when we went to Hobby Lobby before I was not feeling well, and they do work remarkably well, because I just put a little border, and I got way out there. <laughs> I should have been over a little bit further, but look at how well they show up. And I, I figured this page in here would be something that Bobby could write on with um, a jelly roll, because it really does show up well. And I just put that little border on there. Writing there. Here's another double pocket, just full of... Um, journal cards and more journal cards right here we just made that as a pocket for this I like the side pockets like that if I can ever get them back in right it never seems to want to work and then over here, I don't remember um, who I got this from, but this has got, it. first of all, it's an altered paper clip. And it's got all these pockets with it. So we got that pocket there. We got this pocket right here. And then we've got a pocket up here, which I didn't put anything in that pocket. I probably should find something. And then over here, we got this pocket here. Get back in there. And then we got this pocket here. And then again, the pocket right here. I wonder if I should keep those in there so Bobby knows that those are pockets. We have to find something to stick in these because... She won't know those, their pockets. So you get all that pocket space, plus it's an altered paper clip, and it just slides over the page. And then I added this little tab here and put an eyelet in, and we got this really cute charm on there. So let's put that back over the page. You lay down. Okay, and then this one goes under here. And then over here, we've got this that folds out. And so it's this big, long place to write there and there and then our paper clip has this really cute horseshoe and horse and then underneath it is the pocket for this bookmark it's a very large bookmark we got some sari silk as the ribbon Right here we got a couple little tiny pockets with these little tickets. Very cute. Digital collage has those. Writing there. I made this envelope right here and it's just connected with the paper clip. We got this really pretty ribbon. And then inside is some more uh, journal cards. And then this pocket here, we have this right here. This was the Horses and Roses kit from Digital Collage. You can't hardly see it, but this is lined, so it can be wrote on. Back 
go back in there. Okay, then we'll just put our paper clip back on. We got another belly band here. It's denim. Not real denim, a picture of denim. And another journal card there. Now we're into the third signature. We got this is a sticker, but I stuck it on some paper first and then glued it on here because I didn't think the sticker was going to stick to that burlap. Here's a tag that I made. I took the print of that saloon scene and because I printed it twice, so I took the rest of it and made that a tag. And we backed it. I actually got that, um, this one, the tab maker, where it just cuts the top of your paper. And then right here we've got two journal cards. And then that flips out. This pocket I did not put stuff in. The journal is getting way too full. And then we've got two pockets here, both with a little journal card tucked in there. Some more of that really pretty brown trim. Over here we got a little tiny postcard. This one I actually printed it in just in three different sizes. So I could just have it in three different sizes. I just repeated myself. Here is a little cactus um, charm, if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then we have another cluster right here, made with some more of the burlap paper. And this just says, um, I have no boot equestrian academy, M boot instructor. So put that back on. So we'll put this back under there. Oh, we had the other tab right there too. Okay, so over here this pulls out. It's another side tuck card and it holds this in place for more writing because I didn't feel like there was a lot of writing pages in here so I tried to make sure I made up for that in like the journal cards and stuff I can't get that back behind there like I said I'm struggling today you guys we put a little sticker down there here is an envelope. I didn't put anything behind it, but this opens up and inside of here is just a bunch of one by one inch squares that came with one of the kits. And so rather than sticking them all over the pockets, I just cut them all apart and put them in this envelope so she can decide if she wants to put them anywhere. Okay, so right here we've got this little card pulls out of there. Nice little pocket right there. This opens up for writing space. And it's a tuck spot for this. And I really loved this quote on here. It says, The cowboy songs echo in the canyons of my heart, resonating with the trials and triumphs I've known on this dusty trail of life. I thought that was appropriate. Love it. Another pocket, and here's another size of the postcard. So I had three printed them three different sizes. Here's a little pocket here with another little journal card. This is my favorite. Over here, it is a notepad, bunches of pieces of paper that Bobby can write on. Writing space there. Here's another one of the four pocket paper crafts. 
that I did. And we got just a bunch of journal cards in here. Um, this one says a, a horse's power treat in motion. And I, I put some cheesecloth on there and this little ribbon of horses. And then back here, it says this girl loves her paint horse. For that big spot. Oh, I don't want that to happen. And then we got another postcard there. And this little one right here. I actually think I had this one in that pocket. Pull this one out. I don't want that burlap to pull up. And then this one goes there. Here's another one of the little uh, little ticket pocket, and it's got these two little tiny tickets here. And then behind that is this little ticket. Over here is another pocket. This folds up for writing. And then we got a couple of journal cards in here. Little pocket here with another little tiny journal card. Right here is another one of those where I just reprinted and cut out the pocket part. And so now we've got stuff in here. We got another couple of postcards and then we've got this journal card here. Over here we got a belly band and this cute little journal card. Down here we put a sticker on here. I love my thoroughbred horse I love my, oh, it says, I love my thoroughbred, and then it says horse crazy down on a little print down there. We got two pockets here, but they're side pockets. And these journal cards slid in there perfectly. One there and one here. We got this little cactus uh, print on there. That's the end of the third, end of the fourth. Again, the same thing. I reprinted that and made it a pocket. And then the burlap page is also part of a pocket. I didn't put anything in that though, but Bobby can decide if she wants to put anything in there. Some more of that pretty brown trim. Um, right here, we've got an envelope. And in here, I have got another print. Another journal card. And then we've got some brown um, seam binding and then some of the eyelash trim. Just to give that paper clip a little pizzazz. And then, oops, I just put that around two pages. And then stuck in this paper clip is another journal card of a lady on a horse. More writing, another tab with a boot, another boot charm. Um, right here is another envelope, but this envelope I gave a belly band to and stuck in a couple of journal cards. And in this envelope is a bunch of stickers. Yay! <laughs> She's going to have a lot of fun with all these extra things in here. Okay, and then this paper clip has a hat and some more seam binding on it. I think it's supposed to go this way because it's the one to hold those. 
uh, cards in place a little better. There we go. Here is another cluster, but I made this a altered paper clip, and this was actually for our bingo challenge in um, a group that I'm a part of, and I made this little itty bitty envelope to put on the front, and it's got a little itty bitty ticket of a little horse on there just to slide down into the envelope. It was actually a really fun challenge to do. So I decided to, when I was doing that challenge, it was going to be something for Bobby's journal. Thinking ahead. And then over here is another journal card. Another journal card here. It says strong and graceful. Um, here I used, decided to take some of the fabric and make it a pocket. And then we've got a couple journal cards in there. More writing space there. Here's another altered paper clip there. And then a bingo card that I made. Here we have an upper tuck. Or, oh, no, I skipped a page. There we go. <laughs> now we have an upper tuck. Another postcard. And this was just an extra piece of the uh, kit. Writing. There's another pocket here. Here is a waterfall, but not the kind you pull. Um, this one, I just put each of them on different color. Um, Bobby can always put some kind of a paper over that to write on. Also, these can flip up and she can write on that. I put a little stitch across the top. Oh, stitching. <laughs> Magnificent animals. Says a horse gallops with his lungs, perseveres with his heart, and wins with his character. Some sticker or some stamps down here, and one here, and I put on their passion. Another pocket here. And here's a journal card here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I did like a moonish sun kind of glow there. It says the horse wrote history. And that, of course, is our cover image, horse and rider. Oops, there's two pages there. There's a good amount of writing space right there. Another cluster that I actually glued onto the page right there. And then we've got this one here. It says she wears her scars like a warrior for their reminders of when life tried to break her but failed. And then there's this journal card that pulls out of there. Let's see if we can get back in there where we're supposed to be. And then that goes under this burlap trim there. And then the last pocket has a couple more journal cards. And that is the journal, you guys. Hopefully that wasn't too long. Um, I know that it was a big, huge journal because this one had four signatures. It had seven pages each. Um, so that is 56. 122 pages total in this journal and I just used every one <laughs> pretty much but um, yeah so this is the journal for Bobby I really hope that you enjoy this Bobby I just wanted to say thanks um, 
you know, more than just saying it. You can't ever express um, gratitude to someone with just mere words. And I just felt like I needed to do something um, to express my thanks to you instead of just writing it. So um, anyway, I hope that you can find use for this and that this um, is special for you because that's what I wanted. But you guys, let me know what you think of this journal down in the comments below. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for staying tuned and I will see you in the next video. Bye.